So in this video, we will look at the structure of the financial market from different perspective. And so first of all, we're going to look at uh, uh, based on how we obtain the fund. We have two different kinds of market. So one is called a debt market. Another is called a uh, equity market. So when we talk about debt market, and we should, we have to talk about the debt instrument. So a debt instrument such as bond, government bond, or the mortgage. So if you own the house, you need uh, something. You need to borrow money from the bank. So that was called a mortgage. So both of them are example considered as the debt instrument. So what is common characteristic for this kind of debt instrument? So this is a contractual agreement. So that is agreement by the borrower and uh, to pay the holder of the instrument fixed dollar amounts uh, at the regular inter uh, uh, intervals. So the interest is including the interest and payments for this periodical payment until a specific date. So this specific date, we call it maturity. So maturity date, uh, when the financial payment is made. And so uh, as I, uh, the, the maturity of the debt instrument is the number of the years until that instrument expire date, expiration date. So you can see that uh, for the debt instrument is, uh, if you think about mortgage, you, bought, you buy $250,000, $250, thousand dollars houses you borrow from the bank for 30 years and so every month you will pay almost the same amount so that you have to understand that for that same amount is including your principal and also the interest you prompt uh, the, the bank give to you so um, uh, so that is called a debt instrument and so based on the maturity so which is the number of the years until the instrument uh, instrument expiration date so we have three different type of the debt instrument. So first we have short term. So usually the, in maturity, the maturity will be less than a year. You know, we also have the long term. And if the maturity term is 10 years or longer. So we also have the third uh, type of debt instrument that is called intermediary term. So that is between the short term and the long term. So which means between one and the 10 years. And we call it, we call it intermediary term. So usually if you think about example about the short term, so if you own a treasury bill, you buy a government bond, so that will be usually the short term debt instrument. So if you own um, a, a mortgage, so usually 30, 20 years, so that is longer than 10 years, so that will be the long term debt instrument. So how about auto loan, usually five years, and so that will be the intermediary term uh, debt instrument. So this is one way, so we call the uh, that uh, that uh, that instrument is sold on the debt market, and the second type of the market is called equity market. So for the equity market, is such as the common stock. So where such as you own a certain share of the um, the Apple stock. So uh, the that Apple stock is considered as equity. So well, how we define equity? So that are the claim to share in the net income and uh, in usually this income after the expense and taxes uh, taxes and asset of the business so you own the net income of the company and also the asset of the business and so if you usually if you own the energy stock uh, like a utility stock like a, um, the you own the shell stock or you own the a water company stock so usually they will make the periodical payments so that kind of payment uh, we call the dividend. So that is to um, uh, the dividend is given to the shareholders, and are it are also considered as a long term security, and because they have no um, maturity date. So which means, uh, in some sense, you can think about uh, equity is as a security as well. And uh, the difference between the debt and the equity instrument, uh, equity is the equity you own a share of the company, and also equity has no uh, expiration date. So it has no expiration date. And so there is one thing I want to uh, emphasize: uh, the difference between the debt instrument and equity uh, is not only about uh, what you own and in regarding the ownership of the company, but also means when the company filed a bankruptcy, if you own that instrument, you actually had the priority to get paid. And so if you only own equity, so you will be the last person got paid. So they usually pay the, um, the, um, the, the, the debt first, you know, after debt, tax, etc. if they still have extra money, and then they will pay 
uh, the equity uh, shareholders. So the shareholder. So that's something you have to pay attention. And so the second uh, type, uh, second way, uh, based on the where the fund coming from, we have uh, two different kind of market, primary and secondary market. So for the primary market, it is a financial market in which a new issue of the security, such as the bond or stock, are sold to an initial buyer by the corporation or government agency borrowing the funds. And for the secondary market, so that is a financial market in which security that has been previous issued can be resold. And so most of you guys might heard about the secondary market, and uh, so it's including NASDAQ, which is the stock exchange. So most of people never, uh, never heard about the primary market. It's not surprising because for the primary market, we have limited participants. So usually it's the issue, like I said, the big corporation and the government. So when they initially issue in their bond, they are dealing with uh, major dealers like a big banks, JP Morgan Chase Bank, and also some investment bank. So like individual investors like us, we have no right to, to participate in this primary market. So that's why it's not well known to the public. And like I said, in the secondary market, it's more popularized. And so it's involving broker and the dealers. So like I said, you if, you, if you're using a TD Ameritrade, so that will be considered as the brokers and you have dealers. And so that is the secondary market. And the secondary market, the existence of the secondary market is very, very important. And as I said, uh, the primary market is only have the limited uh, participant. But for the secondary market, it's more liquid. Uh, the liquidity is very high in the secondary market. So therefore, for the secondary market, it usually is the market to decide the price of the company. So that's why you will see that most of the time, uh, the stock price is much higher than the value of the company because the, uh, the investor on the secondary market is uh, foresee the uh, the bad, bright future for the company. So they want to give money to the company. So that help to boost the stock price of the company. So for the secondary market, it's very important. As I said, it's increasing the liquidity of the uh, the debt instrument or equity. And also it helps the, uh, to determine the price of the stock. So this is the second way to look at the financial market. And uh, based on uh, for the secondary market, we also have can based on how the secondary market are organized, we have the two different kinds of the secondary market. So the first one is called exchange market, and the second one is called a OTC over the counter market. So the exchange market is more broad, and the more um, many of you guys knows it, like a New York Stock Exchange. Chicago Board of the Trade, where the commodity market are traded. So the characteristic for the exchange market is people meet at the same location. Like that's why we call New York Stock Exchange because it happened in New York. And Chicago Board of the Trade, we call it Chicago Board because it's happened in Chicago. So all the um, broker and the dealer, they meet at the same location. So that is called exchange market. And the second type of the secondary market is called OTC market. So the dealer actually uh, and the broker they meet at a different market. So when we're dealing with a foreign exchange and the federal funds, and also some uh, uh, commercial bank, they will issue their own debt instrument. So that is considered OTC bank, OTC market. So you literally go to different uh, marketplace to receive the fund and to lend borrow the money, borrow the fund. So the uh, the debt instrument is pretty uh, like a government bond is pretty uh, liquid. So most of the um, government bond actually is traded on the OTC market instead of exchange market. And so this is the second way to look at a third way to look at the mar financial market uh, structure. And the third way is based on the maturity of the security. We have the money market and the capital market. So on the money market, we deal with a short-term debt instrument. That is the, uh, the debt instrument will be mature within a year. So on the capital market, we deal with the long-term debt. And so it will also including the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the stock market, so the equity instrument. So with the money market and the debt market. So in next video, we're going to look at the uh, long-term, uh, the monetary instrument and the capital instrument one by one.